Welcome to video one of this two-part video series where you're gonna look over my shoulder and watch me virtually wholesale a real live deal from start to finish, coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Data Cruncher software, which finds cheap houses in your area. Get it now at mydatacruncher.com. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com, and this channel is all about ways to help you make money flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. Hey, we're gonna have some fun. If you're a hands-on type of learner like me, you're gonna love this two-part video series where you're gonna watch me virtually wholesale a house in Indianapolis. Now when I say virtually, what I mean by that is remotely. I live in Arizona and this is a deal in Indiana, so I haven't actually seen this property in person and I'm gonna wholesale it in a remote market across the country without ever physically seeing it. That's what I love about wholesaling. As of right now, we have the contract with the seller and so on this video, I'm gonna show you three things. How we found the deal, how we analyzed the deal, and how we secured the contract with the seller and of course, I'll be teaching and explaining everything so you'll learn with a real live deal and not abstract theory. You're also gonna get an inside look at my deal management system, Flipster, which as you'll see is invaluable. Now I can't imagine doing this business without Flipster. If you've never heard of Flipster, it's a cloud-based all-inclusive house flipping platform that has tools to help you organize and streamline and automate all of the steps to finding and flipping houses. To check it out and see it in action, just go to getflipster.com. And be sure to stay tuned for part two on a future video where I'm gonna show you how we find a buyer and structure the wholesale, and the most important part, getting paid at closing. All right, are you ready? Let's go. First, let's talk about how we found this deal. Inside Flipster, there are multiple lead generation tools, and one of them is the MLS Finder tool. Now, this tool finds underpriced properties for sale on the MLS, or what we call on market. Now let me digress for a second and talk about on market. On market means the seller listed the property for sale with a real estate agent. I'm shocked at how many people don't know this, but you can find awesome deals on the MLS, like you're about to see, and you can wholesale on market properties just the same as you do with private sellers off market. It's no different just because there's an agent doesn't change anything. You get the contract and you flip it to a cash buyer. Now I did an in-depth video on how to find and flip on market deals. I'll put a link to that in the description box below and you can watch it later. So using the MLS Finder tool, we set up a campaign, we call it, or a search in the zip code 46203. Now this generated a list of underpriced properties and one of them was a brand new listing on Villa Avenue. Okay, after finding the lead, we pulled up the listing to get more information. Let's take a quick look at this property. It's listed as 2,500 square feet and from the outside, it looks great. The write-up says new roof and windows, but then take a look at a few interior pictures. It's gutted right down to the studs. Now later we learned that this was a rehabber who started, but then for whatever reason, couldn't finish it, maybe ran out of money, who knows, and it really doesn't matter. They are extremely motivated to sell, and that's all that matters. So using the MLS Finder tool in Flipster, we found this deal. Now step two is analyzing the deal to determine the offer price. You know, crunch the numbers. So inside Flipster, we go to the deal analyzer and Flipster crunches all the numbers for me. And let's take a look. The after repair value or what it will sell for once it's fixed up is 300,000. The rehab budget on this baby is 100,000. So how do we know the ARV is 300 and the rehab is 100 aside from the built-in algorithm in Flipster? Well, nothing is exact science. So let me show you how we confirmed or validated those numbers. If I go on Zillow.com or Redfin.com, which are free real estate listing services, let's look at what's going on. Now I'm gonna zoom in on the market here in that neighborhood and look at recently sold homes during the past three months in the very neighborhood, so you know, really recent. And what I'm looking for exactly is other fix and flippers because that's who we wanna compare our deal to to get our ARV. Now, if I wasn't able to find comps going three months back, I'd go back six months and then nine months and then a year. But I was able to find six fix and flips that sold in the last three months right nearby. And by the way, how do I know these are fix and flips? Easy, they're completely rehabbed, they're staged, and they're vacant. So let's quickly look at these six comps and list out the sold price per square foot for each. So we have here 827 Randolph. This property here sold for $127 a foot. We have 1639 Woodlawn. This one sold for 118 bucks a foot. We have 1806 Woodlawn that sold for 115 bucks a foot. 
and we have 835 Villa, which is the same street where we're on. This one sold for $144 a foot. Then we have 1020 Villa, also on our street, which sold for 102 bucks a foot. And then our sixth comp here, we have 1028 Dawson, which sold for 109 bucks a foot. Now, why am I more concerned about price per square foot than I am about actual sale price? Because the square footages vary on all of them, so price per square foot allows me to look at them objectively apples to apples. Okay, now let's drop the highest and lowest to get rid of our outliers. So the highest is 835 Villa and the lowest is 1020 Villa. Okay, so now let's take the average sold price per square foot of the four remaining comps and that is approximately 118 bucks a foot. So if I take our deal, which is 2,518 square feet, and I multiply that by 118 bucks a foot, that gives us 297,124 as our sale price ARV, which for simplicity, I'm gonna round it up to 300,000. Now, I went pretty fast doing that. If you'd like to see me analyze real deals way slowed down using Zillow and Redfin, I have an entire playlist of videos where you can see me do that. I'll put a link to that playlist in the description box below that you can watch later. So going back to our deal analyzer in Flipster, we have an ARV of 300,000 and following the standard buy formula of 70%, a fix and flipper would pay 110,000 for this deal. And if you really wanna understand the formula better, you guessed it, I have a video for that too. You know the drill, I'll put the link to that video in the description box below and you can watch it later. So backing into the numbers, if a fix and flipper bought this house for 110,000, put 100,000 in rehab, they'd be all in for 210,000, which is 70% of 300,000, and they'd make a $45,000 profit. So the buy number for a fix and flipper on this deal is 110,000, but that's what a fix and flipper would pay for it. So now we have to figure out what we need to get the deal for and build in our wholesale fee, which would be anything under 110,000. So for example, if I got the contract for 90,000, I could wholesale it for 110,000 and make 20,000. Well guys, check it out. It came out for sale on the MLS for 50,000. Now don't you dare tell me you can't find deals on market. So now let's go to step three, which is making the offer and getting the contract. Now we were able to get the contract on this deal for two distinct reasons. Reason number one is we followed my double dip strategy, which is to go directly to the listing agent unrepresented and let him represent us and submit the offer. By doing that, he gets both sides of the commission. He gets a 3% for being the listing agent and he gets 3% for representing us as the buyer's agent for a combined 6%. Now that's technically called dual agency in real estate or what I've coined the double dip strategy. Now I have an entire video dedicated to this technique that you can watch. I'll put a link to that video in the description box below and you can watch it later. But the point is the listing agent is highly motivated to get our offer accepted because he'll make 6% instead of 3%. Now that was reason number one why we got the deal, and reason number two is we beat the competition by getting our offer in first. We got our offer in immediately after the property was listed for sale. In fact, the listing agent who we double dipped with said that while he was presenting our offer to the seller, he received four offers, but it was too late. We made a full price offer and got it accepted before the other offers came in. So to recap, full price offer of 50,000, double dipped, beat the competition to the deal. That's how we got it. So our goal is to wholesale our $50,000 contract for $110,000. That's a $60,000 wholesale. Can we do it? I don't know, time will tell. And guys, help me out, I need your feedback. If you found a hands-on deal breakdown video like this helpful, and you'd like to see more videos like this, then go ahead and like this video and leave a comment and let me know. I value your feedback and I would love to hear from you. And stay tuned for part two, where I'm gonna break down how we found our cash buyer and how we put the deal together and how we wholesale this property. And in the meantime, be sure to watch this next video where I show another live video deal example where I show how I found a cash buyer. It's another hands-on real deal video like this one, so watch that now. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. I'm dedicated to helping you make more money flipping houses so you can live your dream life. And I'll see you on the next video.